tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Let's have a look at this animation here. It's a turntable anim animation which you find under the visualize menu, the turntable camera. It's very simple. You just pick one of the objects in the scene and then uh, Maya creates a, an animation according to your frame length, in this case 200 frames, and uh, it rotates around that object. The interesting thing, and this is what this tutorial is about, uh, is that I created a geometry and I duplicated it with the duplicate special command, which is a very versatile tool and which has been in Maya since version 1 and not refined at all. It's just uh, pure and simple and stands for itself. In this case, the uh, duplicates were moved along one axis slightly rotated and scaled down and um, only in the in one direction that's why the the sharp objects here at the end are so as high as all the others but much thinner like much uh, slimmer so to say the animation it's not really uh, something to brag about but uh, it was rendered in v-ray because v-ray just released v-ray Next, that's the Chaos Group who programmed V-Ray, and uh, I just wanted to try out the the way the the shadows behave here in this uh, rotation, and they behave quite well. This is the default settings uh, with not uh, too high s settings for anti-aliasing, no global illumination involved here, so it does a good job. At the end of the tutorial, I show you. Uh, another visualization of this kind with V-Ray where I use depth of field. So let's jump into the tutorial now. When we create an object, for example, under polygon modeling, a plane, when I duplicate this with uh, Control D, uh, the duplicate sits just on top exactly at the same position as the uh, original uh, object so um, now I have two of them so this is the standard way to duplicate objects here uh, let's undo this twice so I have only one object here which is called P plane 1 now I go to edit duplicate that's the command we just used and duplicate special and that's a really special command let's reset the settings in order to get uh, clear starting point. When we duplicate them uh, with, for example, translate 10 and a uh, number of copies 2 and apply it, we get these three objects here. Because they were translated by 10 units from one copy to the next into the X direction, that's the red one here, or the red arrow here, and uh, the translation is t 10 units. So let's undo this. I have one plane. Now uh, let's um, copy them three times, uh, three units in X and three units in Y and three units in Z and the number of copies three. Apply. That's what we have now. You can make a staircase by this with this method by, and I'll do this again, rotating them and maybe rotating it them by 30 degrees per copy. Three copies, let's make it 10. How about this? So we have 10 copies and a spiral staircase. If you want to mirror an object, mirror it so that the arrow points to that direction here, you need to play with a scale. And the scale is set to 1, 1, 1. If you um, set it to, well, let's reset the settings here. If you set this, uh, the scale in Y, for example, to um, 3, 
you get this object here. It's just higher than the previous object. It sits at the same pl pl uh, spot because the translate uh, section is set to zero, the rotate section is set to zero, but the scale is set to three in Y. That means the object is higher. But how about, and let's reset the settings again, how about um, typing in a negative number, like negative one, and apply it. Now you have exactly what you want. Why the direction in Z, minus one in Z, that's X, that's Y, that's Z, um, Y is up, and Z is uh, the blue one in this case well because it's this direction here it's this direction here if you if you want to mirror it over here you would typically and we reset the settings again we would pick it and uh, um, put in minus one for the scale of in, in X so that's the object now if you want to create, for example, the blades of a of a of a propeller, you could do it by rotating them. Reset the settings again, and rotating them by well, uh, for example, if you want four blades, um, let's type in four here, and type in here some number like forty. This is what you get. Uh, of course, you need to do a little bit of maths here. Let's undo this again. Uh, because when you have four blades, so let's say five, you need to div divide 360 degrees, that's one rotation, by five. And how much is that? It's 72. So 72 and actually you don't need five copies you need only four but uh, I show you that in a minute we just apply this now so we get that star shape but uh, this one the last one the plane number six is at the same position as the plane number one because when we uh, duplicate them we have the original so uh, for a, a, a propeller with five blades we need only four copies so let's undo this again type in 4 here and apply it. We have the same structure, a star, and uh, I mean of course you can uh, change that uh, thing to get a, a little bit more like a propeller. Uh, the crucial thing here is the pivot. If you press insert you can move the pivot right here or right over here and then the rotation will press insert again, uh, then the rotation will be um, on this uh, from this angle here so it's more or less like a propeller now so a very powerful command with uh, rotation scaling number of copies you can duplicate the input graph if you have uh, geometry made by curves for example or uh, by other means where they have history and you can duplicate them with input connection which is similar and you can instance the leaf nodes that means you're basically uh, treating them like mesh network. Mesh sits here. The mesh network uh, creates instances as well from the uh, objects. Actually, mesh is much more powerful than this duplicate uh, special options menu here. But for basic uh, and the routine work, this is just the best thing to use. Don't forget to reset the settings and close that. And now I'll show you a few examples of duplicate special options. So this is my original object. I created it from one curve and made a planar surface from it, a NURPS surface. And then I used some deformation and shading. So you have, it it's consists of only one curve really. And a little bit of deformation in uh, using the sculpt deformer it's not you can use any kind of surface for this and it's a rendering in v-ray so that's the basic uh, structure i'm using for the copy examples here and uh, all the settings are set to zero except for the scale which are set to one 
that's the default. So the next thing is a duplicate with uh, translate in X in this direction here, that's a red one here, and uh, with a scale of 1.5 in uh, Z. That's why it's uh, wider. Next one. Uh, here I duplicated four times and I made the objects smaller. The scaling is 0 0.6 in all three dimensions. That means they get smaller in all the uh, dimensions here. And um, I translated them in one unit to in X, that's X, and two units per copy in Z. That's why the distance here is uh, taking place as well. And number of copies is four, of course. This here is um, scaling them 0 0.8 in all dimensions. That means they're getting slightly smaller from copy to copy. That's not so drastic as in the image before. And I rotate them by 50 degrees. Uh, and I make 10 copies. That means we have 11 objects here and that's like the spiral staircase I showed you previously. For a spiral staircase you need to translate them in Y as well. This is the mirroring which I previously showed you. Minus 1 in Z means that's this axis. Uh, that's uh, That means the pivot sits here. If you set the pivot here you get a different structure of course. and. Uh, you get a mirror object like right here. So all you need to do is to scale it in a minus way. This is a scaling in with minus as well. I'm scaling it minus 1.25 in all three dimensions, all with a minus. That means I get a mirror object which is bigger, slightly bigger, 1.5, 1 1.25 1 bigger. This object here is 20 copies, so we have 21. Uh, objects in the scene. They tra uh, are translated from copy to copy by 1.5. I rotate them in all three axes. 10 degrees per copy in X, 20 in Y, 20 in Z. And I scale them in two dimensions smaller. That means 0 0.7 in X and Z. And minus 1, so I mirror them in the Y direction and I create 20 copies. And finally, here you have the rotation by 60 degrees, five copies. Actually, there are six, but I only need five copies. And nothing else, really. It's very simple to use. The pivot sits here in the middle. And here is a rendering of the structure I showed you at the beginning. Uh, here, not the camera rotates, but the camera changes the focal length not actually the focal length, the focal distance to the object. You see now this one is in focus and the camera focuses further back so this gets out of focus now and uh, everything is out of focus pretty soon. There's some grain here, it's a V-ray rendering. Arnold wouldn't do it worse or better and this is the playback with 24 frames per second so a little bit faster. So first you see in dark these objects getting sharp in focus and then this one and then they're getting out of focus. Nothing really special but you can play with depth of field in this way and this demonstrates this quite well. Well use duplicate special and use mesh of course which is the most sophisticated way to duplicate objects. Bye bye.